Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by for another wonderful tutorial. And you are welcome if this is your first time of uh, stopping by my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified each time I upload new video. Okay, so in today's tutorial, I'll be making an off shoulder uh, dress with a two in one sleeve. And this is a requested uh, video. So I am going to concentrate mostly on the upper part of the uh, dress. I have a tutorial on how to draft uh, the bodies. Um, that's the off shoulder uh, princess data bus here. Yeah, I will leave the link in the description box so you can watch that thoroughly. Okay, so I'm going to cut out uh, my part, uh, my dress first on my um, lining. So I'm going to place the tape, marking off uh, five inches. Then I'm going to get my chest line, which is a uh, nine inches, and then my bust point, which is ten and a half inches, and then my um under bust measurement, thirteen inch, thirteen and a half inches, my waist uh, measurement, which is a uh, sixteen and a half inches, then plus the seam allowance. All right. And now on the bust point, I am going to get my nipple to nipple measurement, which is eight inches. If you, I divide that into two, and that gives me four and a half inches. So that's the line I placed in the middle. And then on the shoulder line, rather than putting the four and a half inches, I marked a five inches because I want I want that to be wider. So now on the shoulder line, I'm going to mark out one inch on both sides of the nipple to nipple line. Then from the bust point, I go up by one inch. And then from the bust point again, I go down by one inch. Okay, so um, on the uh, under bust line, I will be taking out uh, one and a half inches on both sides. So this is my under bust, and then I'm going to take out one and a half inches on both sides of the nipple to nipple line. And then the same thing on the waistline. Okay, so now I am going to connect the lines. So I'm connecting the line, uh, the, the shoulder dot. Remember, you mark out one inch, one inch on both sides, and then one and a half inches on the under bust uh, on the under bust line. So then I'm going to use my French fog and connect my dot. So like I said, I have an uh, um a detailed tutorial on how to draft the off shoulder princess that are bust here on my channel and I will definitely leave the link in this description box so you guys can watch it uh, thoroughly because I just realized that my markings on this um, fabric is not showing clearly okay and I do apologize for that all right so I just used my French curve and connect all my um all my dots and so the light the dot is complete now so now we're going to put the horizontal measurements on the shoulder line. You're going to measure your um, front chest line. Whatever you get, you divide that into two. For me, it's uh, 12 inches and dividing that into two, that gives me six inches. That's the line what I marked. And then I'm adding back the two inches uh, that I'm taking out and I add it back there on the shoulder line. Now on the uh, uh, chest line, I divide my uh, bust measurement into four, and that's um, nine and a half inches, and I place that measurement. And then whatever that I'm taking out uh, there, I also put it back, it's about half an inch. I added it back plus two and a half inches uh, for the seam allowance. That's what I marked there. So now I'm going to use the my French curve and connect the armhole.
Now on my underbust um, line, I'm going to divide my underbust uh, into, into four again. My underbust is uh, 37 inches. Divide that into four, that gives, you, that gives me nine inches. I mark it there. And then plus the that I'm taking out, which is at uh, three inches, plus two and a half inches uh, for seam allowance. And I mark it right there. Then on my waist uh, line, I do the same. I divide my waist by four, which is eight and a half inches. And then I, uh, the that that I'm taking out and I add it back plus the two and a half inches uh, for um, sewing allowance. And then I use my ruler and connect all the lines. Okay, now for the neckline, I'm going to come down from the center fold by two inches and I'm going to um, make a sweetheart a neckline. So once you come down by two inches, you use your French curve and connect the neckline like I'm showing you here. So you just uh, kind of curve it. All right, so this, um, the front uh, bodice is complete. Now I'm going to cut out the, the dots. Again, I, I, I will put the link on how to, you know, cut this, um, this type of bodice. So you can watch it entirely. I used the uh, drafting paper and it's uh, much clearer than this uh, fabric. Okay. All right, so now I'm cutting out the neckline. Then I'm going to cut out the uh, shoulder dart. All right, so once you cut it out, this is what you have. So when I have gone ahead and cut it out on the fabric, uh, the main fabric I'm using for this uh, dress. All right, and then I'll be joining the side to the uh, center. So this is the back. The back is just an, um, a regular uh, waist uh, dot. That's all I have for the back, all right. So again, we will mark out uh, five inches, then get your chest line, your the bust point, the waistline, and then um, um, add your dart. The dart I'm using on the waist dart is just one inch on both sides. I'm sorry, half an inch on both sides. And then my um, zipper allowance is one and a half inches. So now what I did uh, for the neckline, I came down by one inch. And then I'm just using my uh, French cuff to connect the um, to connect the neckline. If you want, you can leave yours to be just uh, straight. All right. So now I've cut it out. This is my back. I'm just going to place a notch where my data starts, so that I'm able to transfer it uh, to the main fabric and the lining. Okay. So I'm going to place the lining um right side facing the right side of the uh, main fabric. So I am going to sew the um the lining from the neckline down to the zipper line and they are also on the sides then i use this i will use it to turn it over all right okay so moving on um i, I i'm going to add a warden i added warden so all i did was uh, follow the shape of my body and cut out the the warden because i'm padding the uh the front all right after that i'll use um 
half an inch or so in allowance and join the sides to this uh, center. And then this is the back. I've turned it out. I saw I saw the neckline, the zipper area and the sides, and then I turned it out. And this is what it looks like. So and now this is the front lining. I, I, I attached it on both sides as well. So I'm gonna use it to turn out the front. So this is what the front looks like after I have joined them together. I'm sorry guys, I lost the footage where I was attaching that, all right? So like I said, I'm concentrating on mainly on the, on the upper part of this uh, dress. The uh, bottom part is just a simple A-line dress, the A-liner skirt. So if you guys want me to do a tutorial on that, I'll be more than happy to do that, okay? So after I've uh, joined everything, this is what it looks like. All right, so the next thing is going to be to drag the sleeve, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and drag the sleeve. This is the back. And I also attach this uh, zipper. I'm using an invisible zipper. I also have a tutorial on how to attach invisible zipper and I'll leave the link in the description down. All right, guys, so we're going to drag the sleeve down. Okay, so now I'm going to drag the off shoulder um, sleeve. So the sleeve is going to be the two in one sleeve. First, we're going to have the regular off shoulder sleeve before I cut the, the circle portion of the sleeve so what you're going to do is draw your guideline and now the length of the sleeve remember I marked out five inches so the length is going to be 21 inches plus one inch similar ones and that's 22 now for my um for my cap height I divided my bust measurement by 12 plus uh, one and a half inches uh, to that, and that gave me 4.6 inches. So this is my 4.6 inches right here, which I'm going to roll out. Okay. So now on this line is where we're going to put the uh, round armhole measurement. My round armhole measurement is 18 divided by 2. That gives uh, 9 inches. So this is my 9 inches right here. And now for from here, you're going to use your round shoulder measurement and you're going to minus that from your upper bust or uh, circumference so my round shoulder measurement is a uh, 45 inches and my round um upper bust measurement is uh 37 inches so when you minus that for 46 from 37 you have nine inches so i'm going to divide the nine inches by half which gives me I divide the nine inches in half and it gives me four and a half inches and I'm going to add an extra half inch for joining and that's a five inches. So that's what I have. And then for the length, this is where we place the round wrist measurement. So this is my round wrist measurement. You measure your around your wrist. Mine is uh, eight inches. So mine is uh, eight inches. So I divide the eight inches uh, by into two. That gives me four plus one inch as same allowance. And that's a uh, five inches. That's what I'm going to place here. So basically you're all done and we're going to connect the lines. I'm just going to use this. You can
and I like that and then you're ready to cut this out so I'm going to cut this out and then use it to cut my fabric before you cut this you fold this right like this so that when you cut you're not going to have a shortage All right, so once you cut it out, you have something like this. So this is the, my off shoulder sleeve. Okay. Okay, so I have finished uh, cutting the, the sleeve. This is the, um, this is the off shoulder portion. Like I said, we're going to be making two in one sleeve so now we're going to cut out the the flare portion of the sleeve so i'm going to be using my bridal satin to cut out the sleeve so this is my fabric and i'm going to fold it into two like this so we fold it into two So once you fold it into two, we'll fold it into a half circle. You'll be cutting the flare in half circle. So this is folded into two. So you grab here and the end here. Then you fold it into a bias like this. Okay, like I was saying, after you fold your fabric, like this then we're going to use the round armhole measurement which is 18 inches i divide that into four it gives me four and a half inches that's what i mark here for my radius so now from here i get the length that i want for my sleeve so i'm working with a length of uh, 19 inches plus one inch as same allowance that's 20 so i'm going to mark the 20 all around So you're just going to follow this and mark it all around. And that's basically it. So we're going to cut it out. So this is my radius, which is four and a half inches. From there, you get the length of this, of your, the desired length of your sleeve. And then once you get that, you go ahead and cut it out. And then I'm going to cut the radius. Okay. And I will make a notch here from the midpoint. Now you also notch the here. So now when you open it up, this is what you're going to have. Once you open it up, you have this, the giant uh, half circle. So what we're going to do now is, so this is my sleeve. So you will take out the five inches and get the elbow line, which is at 13 and a half inches. 
and then you mark it like this. So what we're going to do, this is going to be the top. So actually, you can fold this like this. You can fold your sleeve, your circle like this. And get my notch again. Get the notch. So this is the bottom part of the sleeve. This is the bottom. Okay. Okay, and this is where I made my notch. I made the notch here. So what you're going to do is you place it exactly at the midpoint of the of the main sleeve right here so now the rest of these from the rest of this line we're going to gather we gather it or you can pleat it if you want to you can pleat like this keep pleating you pleat so you're going to keep pleating it until you use up all these right here. And then you're going to pleat this side as well. So you maintain your midpoint here. And you can pleat. You pleat it until you use it all up. You can also use the gathering stitch for this if you wish. Okay, you can use a gathering stitch for this. Or you just pleat. So once you pleat, you can use your pin and hold it together. So make sure you're pleating like in the same direction. So once you finish pleating it, you go ahead and sew it down. Right, and I'm going to do that and show you what's next. Okay, so I have finished uh, joining the sleeve here. So this is where I joined it. So I have finished joining it here, as you can see. So I've joined it. So once you finish joining, so the next thing is to um to join here, here, and also on the top. So you're just going to pull this like this. And then I'm going to hold it down with the pin. All right, and then I'll do the same. We're going to do the same for this side. Just going to hold it down with the pin. So I'm going to sew here and then sew here too. And I will do the same for this side. So you're just going to, you know, use a stitch and hold it down. Do the same for here. So I'm going to sew it and then show you what's next, okay? 
okay so i have sewn down this side and also the armhole area so i've sewn it here and i've done the same for this side okay so this is what you have left now so once you do that you have this excess left and this will be the top remember this is an off shoulder so what we're going to do is just to pleat the rest of this so you're going to pleat you just start to pleat So as you're going you adjust it accordingly so that uh, this area can can kind of uh, be full and fall down you can play this or you can also use your gathering stitch whichever one you prefer all you have to do is keep on pleating until you use up all the all the leftover fabric so you just keep pleating as you can see once you keep on pleating you're going to have this excess and that's okay because this will fall like this to cover this area like this Okay, so once you finish pleating, the next thing will be to you sew it down, sew it down on the on the edge here. So I'm gonna finish pleating and show you what it looks like. Okay, so now I have gone ahead and um, pleated the top. So this is what the sleeves. Is looking like so far as you can see I pleated the top okay so now the next thing that we're going to do is to uh, join the sides uh, together so you're going to um, join the sides like this using one inch uh, seam allowance that we left um, when we drafted the sleeve so I'm just going to pin it down. Right, so I'm going to sew down here before attaching it to the to the dress. Okay, so now I've uh, sewn the, the sides uh, together and this is what the sleeve looks like. So this is the side that will be attaching to the, um, to the dress. Alright, and this is the volume of the, the satin fabric. Okay, so now this is where I pleated on the top. These are my pleats on the top. As you can see, it's, um, it's exposed. So what I did is, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a band. So this is my band. I'm going to use it to, you know, clean up the edge. So this band is, um, let me measure the length. So the length is 11 inches. 11 and a half rather so remember that i took off uh, five inches as my um i took off five inches as my off shoulder and that's exactly what I'm, i used to cut this out okay so when you put this on fold you have five and a half so the one inch is uh 
to join um, to join this so the dress so half inch on this side and half inch on that side and then the weight is uh, two inches as you can see so that's what I'm going to use to clean up this edge so what you're going to do is this is the top so you get your band so number is folded into two it's folded into two give it a good press so what i'll do is so this is where i will start to attach to my um to my dress this is where my pleater starts so i'm going to open this up and i pin it down So this is just like you're attaching your a band on your skirt and the purpose of me using this is just to cover up the edge the raw edges so it doesn't show okay that's exactly how i'm going to pin this all around and then here you see the midpoint is right here what i'm going to do is Fold it like this we fold it like that see this is open this is the wrong side and this is the right side so you flip it over like this then pin it down So we're just going to sew here closed and then after you sew okay so i have attached um i have attached the band and then remember i said you flip this backwards and sew the end closed and i have done it so i'm going to flip this back over You can use the scissors to push out the corners. All right, so this is what you have. Now I'm going to turn this over. And you see these raw edges so all i'm going to do is fold this inwards fold the band inwards like this you fold it to cover up the raw edges and then i'll pin it down Then you fold, you just kind of tucking it in to cover all the raw edges. So I'm going to do the same all through here. So you're just going to edge a stitch. And then this is how the sleeve is going. All right, now this is my sleeve after I have a, um, top stitched the the band. And this is the sleeve. And this is the side seam. Okay, so now I'm going to attach it to my dress. So what you're going to do is get the dress. I have attached to uh, this one. So 
so this is my dress the dress is right side out and this is my armhole right here so this will be right side out and right side of the sleeve out as well so we are going to attach it now so this is my side seam this is the side seam of the dress so you're going to match side seam of the sleeve to the side seam of the dress so you just pin it down pin it down and then you pin the rest of the sleeve this is what it looks like and so when you get here you will see that the rest of you have a leftover band it's about one inch then you just so you can see here you just attach it like this And then you're going to do the same right here. You do the same for the back. And then when you get here, we have the leftover band again. You just attach it like this now once you finish attaching it this is what it will look like you see it's like you have this band So that's what the sleeve will look like once you finish attaching it. Okay. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm finished attaching it and then I'll show you the dress, how it looks like.